I wanted to just show you how a switch learns the MAC addresses of the devices directly connected to it. This makes it a really efficient layer 2 device and once it learns all of the MAC addresses, the hardware MAC addresses burned into the devices directly connected to it, it then knows exactly where to send traffic port to port. So let's take a a switch that's just been connected to let's say these four desktop devices any four devices on a network but let's say these four nodes these four desktop devices these are their MAC addresses down here right now the switch has not learned any MAC addresses and it has no MAC addresses in its table what a switch will do initially is it will perform exactly like a hub in the very beginning so let's say the first desktop here sends a packet out to the rest of the network. Let's say it needs to send something to one of these other desktops down here. We don't have a big network here, we're just going to use this switch and these four devices connected to it as our example. This is our entire network. So this device sends in a packet of information, a data frame. The switch, of course, and I've got a bunch of question marks here, doesn't really know where the destination MAC address is because it hasn't learned any MAC addresses yet. So what does the switch do? Well, the first thing it does is it says, okay, I'm going to record the MAC address of this device that just sent me, that I know is connected to me here. So I'm going to record that, I'm going to put it in my MAC address table. Then I'm going to immediately turn around and I'm going to send that data frame or packet of information out to every other interface except the one it came in on. So it will send it out, all of its other interfaces, and this is very similar to a hub, the way the hub used to work initially. Now, when those devices respond, let's say one of these other devices responds, or one of these other devices decides it wants to connect to something else on the network, as soon as it sends a packet of information in, the switch is going to learn its MAC address until it fills its MAC address table with all of the interfaces and all of the devices that show connected to it, with hardware MAC addresses, just like it did this one. In the meantime, let's say the second device here sent something in and the switch learned its MAC address. If it's not the MAC address of the first one that it learned, it won't send it out that port, but it will send it out all other ports, except the one it came in on and the one that it knows is not the correct destination port, destination MAC address. So let's just kind of keep this simple here. I'm going to kind of take the switch and kind of lay it down in this 3D form here so you can kind of see the interfaces on the front just to give you a better better image here. So once the switch has learned all the MAC addresses of all of the devices connected to it, now it knows exactly where those devices are and exactly what their MAC addresses are. It knows where to send the traffic and where it's coming from. Okay, when it receives a data frame, it does not, it no longer has to forward out the all other interfaces just like a hub. So that's what makes a switch a kind of collision division device. It, it doesn't provide a bunch of collisions non-stop like a hub does. So let's take these two devices for example. Let's it, it knows the two MAC addresses of these two devices. Let's say they want to send information back and forth just to each other. One desktop will send out the information to the other. The switch knows where its MAC address is, its destination MAC address, so it will say I've got both those MAC addresses already. I know where the destination MAC address is that the this other one is trying to communicate with and I know where the source is that it came from. So what does the switch do? It will simply kind of make a, a single solitary connection between these two devices until their connection session is over. Much like a, a the old telephone operators, it will just kind of connect those together and leave them connected until their session is over. And that is the basics of how a switch learns the MAC addresses. Once it fills up its MAC address table, it knows exactly which devices are directly connected to it and it knows exactly which port those devices are on. So when a data frame comes in or a packet comes in with that destination MAC address, it knows exactly where to send it out. And it no longer has to send it out every other port on the switch other than the one it originally came in on. Because once it learns these, it now is a fully functional switch.